Hey everyone, this is kind of an interesting problem. So we have the hyperbolic uh, sine function and we're going to find the inverse uh, from scratch. We're just going to do it. Um, so let's try it. So solution. So to find the inverse of a function, usually you start by calling the function y. So we're going to let y be equal to the hyperbolic sine of x, sin x. Now, what is the hyperbolic sine? It's, it's half the difference of e to the x and e to the negative x, okay? So you can write it like this. So it's half the difference of e to the x and e to the negative x. So that's typically the first step uh, when you're finding the inverse, when you're learning how to find inverses. That's, that's step one. Step two, usually, when you're finding inverses is you, you switch the x's and y's, right? So x becomes y and y becomes x. So this is gonna be x equals uh, e to the y minus e to the negative y all over two. And then step three is to actually solve for y, and once we solve for y, that's going to be our, our inverse function. So um, I haven't done this problem uh, in a long time, so I have to think. So maybe we'll start by multiplying by 2. That's the obvious thing to do. So let's multiply by 2. So 2x equals e to the y minus e to the negative y. Now typically, I've seen this before, typically when you have uh, exponentials like this, like e to the y, e to the negative y, you can manipulate it so that you end up with some type of quadratic equation in e to the y. So in order to do that, we have to get rid of this e to the negative y. So let's multiply everything by e to the y to try to create that quadratic equation. So if you multiply the left-hand side by e to the y, you just get 2x e to the y. Multiplying this by e to the y, right, you're going to get e to the y times e to the y. e to the y times e to the y is e to the y plus y, which is e to the 2y, right? So you add the exponents. So this is e to the 2y, beautiful stuff. Minus, minus, and then when you multiply it here, you're just going to get 1, right? Because y plus negative y is 1. Now we're ending up with what looks to be a quadratic equation in e to the y. Let's go ahead and subtract this and set it equal to 0. So we have e to the 2y minus 2x e to the y, right? Subtracting this over here, minus 1 equals 0, okay? And let's, let's use the quadratic formula. You could probably complete the square. I, just quadratic formula, let's do that. Um, you can think of this as e to the y squared. See, maybe it, it wasn't clear now. Hopefully it is. And let's make a substitution just for clarity. We'll let, we'll let u equal e to the y. So this actually becomes u squared minus 2x, u minus 1 equals 0. So using the quadratic formula, uh, a is equal to 1, b is equal to negative 2x, and c is equal to negative 1, right? Remember, it's ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0, except here it's a u, so this is actually our b. Our b has an x in it, okay? So I'm going to come over here and carefully write down the quadratic formula. So it's going to be u equals, so negative b, so I'll write it out, so negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. There's a song, I think, for the quadratic formula. Uh, so b is here, so it's got a negative already, so it's going to become positive because negative and negative is positive. So 2x plus or minus square root b squared. When you square this, you're going to square the 2s, so you're going to get 4. You square the x, so you get x squared. So this is going to be 4x squared minus 4ac, 4ac, 4ac. So that's going to be plus 4, right? Plus 4 because negative and negative is positive. Then we get 2a, so we just get 2. So u is equal to, let's see what this is. This is, uh, well, I guess you can't do much. You, you can you can pull out a 2 here. Check it out. You can pull out a square root of 4. So that would give us x squared plus 1 over 2. So u is equal to 2x over 2. Breaking it up, 2x over 2 plus or minus, plus or minus 2 square root x squared plus 4 over 2. Boom, boom. So u is equal to x plus or minus square root x squared plus 4. 1 plus 1. U is e to the y. So we end up with this. Okay. And it can't be both, right? It can't be both. I have to figure out which one it is. So I think this might be a little bit sneaky. I have a feeling it's not going to be the negative one. I mean, I know that can work. I know x plus that is positive, right? So that, that's probably going to work. But x minus that might be, uh, might be negative. Um, so let's, let's check something. So we need to figure out which one it is. You'll notice that x is less than or equal to the square root of x squared. 
right? Because if x is negative, right, this is, this is less than or equal to the absolute value of x. Let's be pro about it. x is less than or equal to the absolute value of x. The absolute value of x is equal to the square root of x squared, and this is strictly less than x squared plus 1, right? How do I create that inequality? I just practice, right? Just practice. So I wanted to somehow involve x with the square root of x squared. So the connecting piece for that is the absolute value of x. The absolute value of x is equal to the square root of x squared. So I knew that I could do that. And then this is less than this because this piece here is bigger than this one because this one we're adding one. Check this out. If you subtract this, you get x minus square root x squared plus 1 less than 0. Fail, right? That's a contradiction. It means contradiction. Right? It can't be negative because E is positive, right? The graph of E to the X looks like this, right? So it's never negative. So we have to get rid of the negative one. So that means that E to the Y is equal to X plus the square root of X squared plus one. Um, and then um, you can rewrite this in logarithmic form or you can take the natural log of both sides. I'll show more work. I'll, I'll put an L in here, put an L in here. These cancel, so you get y equals natural log x plus square root x squared plus 1. And that right there, my friends, that is the inverse of the hyperbolic sine function. So this is the inverse. This is, this is f inverse of uh, x. Kind of a cool problem. I, I did it like a year ago. I figured, let me, let me try to do it again. So that's it.